basically virtually maintenance free and it's very simple to operate so if you consider a mechanism so you have to consider two springs in it so one spring is we can call it as a closing spring so we can call it as closing spring and the another spring we can call it as a spring that is possible for tripping the circuit breaker and we can call this one as a tripping spring okay so how it works that there is a motor and this motor is responsible for charging of this breaker so through mechanism through gear system this spring is charged so this spring is charged and it is the it is ready to close the circuit breaker so when the per button is pressed or it is push command is given from locally or from the remote this spring will be released and it will do two operations one it will close the circuit breaker so cb will be closed and second force uh, second energy or second function that it will, it, it will perform is to charge the tripping spring charging of tripping spring so the closing spring is larger in size and when it operates uh, it basically do two jobs one it is closing the circuit breaker and at the same time it is charging the tripping spring so when you will see in the switch, switch gears you will see the size of closing spring is big and the tripping spring is small okay or some places you can also find two closing springs at the same point so reason behind this is that as soon as breaker is closed even the DC supply is lost or if supply is lost or motor is faulty the tripping spring will always will be charged and the circuit breaker will always will be ready circuit breaker will always will be ready to ready to trip in case of fault or if, if it's required by operation or control room so this is a good feature that each circuit breaker should have that is called as ready to trip so we are designing a circuit in a way mechanical circuit that closing spring is charged and when it is discharged it is closing circuit breaker and it's also charging the tripping uh, coil uh, tripping spring another two concepts that are need to understand is one is basically the solenoid so there is a solenoid and once the spring is charged for example the spring is charged so obviously it will be compressed and then it will store the energy the spring is charged and then it is holding on a certain latch there is certain mechanical mechanism that is holding the spring and is keeping all energy of the spring safe and there is a coil solenoid when the solenoid is supplied with the voltage it will push this latch and it will result will be the releasing of the closing spring so there are two coils in the circuit breaker one is closing coil and another one is a tripping coil so closing coil will release the latch for the closing spring and the tripping coil will release the latch for the tripping spring so these are the two different simple concepts now i will see the simulation that how it is uh, working so here you can see this is the simulation for the uh, the mechanism of circuit breaker so this is you can consider this one as a tripping coil this is the mechanism gearbox mechanism for the circuit breaker this is the closing spring and the green is the tripping spring so we will continue so you can see now the mechanism is charging the 
closing spring this is circuit breaker position so as soon as the command is received this is our tapping uh, closing coil it will release this latch and the spring will be discharged so here you can see the command is received to the closing coil this is spring closing uh, spring is discharged and the tripping spring which is a green in color it is charged so it's doing two things circuit breaker is changing its position from open to close and this is the closing coil here you can see this is the closing coil and this is the tripping coil as soon as the circuit breaker closing command is given this spring is discharged and the tripping spring is charged so i will show you one more time so here once again so you can see this is release so here motor is charging this is a closing spring is charging and then you can see command is given again here you can see command is giving given okay now the command is given to open the circuit breaker so green spring is here discharged okay and circuit breaker is in open position and this is the latch for the closing uh, this is the tripping coil for the circuit breaker so thank you very much so this is a very basic concept i hope you enjoy this section so keep uh, please subscribe to this uh, uh, channel to get more videos thank you very much